Hey everybody, it's Dick here. I'm back in England after a lovely holiday in the States. It's a lot warmer here, so I thought I'd take a ride on the GS. I started it up all right. It seemed a little low in the battery, and I realized it never put a charging lead and tender on it. So today, I'm going to be adding one of these to the bike, and I'll let you see how I do it. So if you remember, I sold the Ducati so I could buy this GS. One of the reasons I sold the Ducati was because the battery was hidden in this very deep, hard to get to place and I thought I needed a bike that was easier to work on. Turns out the uh, battery is under this on the GS as well. So it's not under the seat where I would like and where other bikes have it or even under the side panel uh, which is why I'm going to put this uh, charging lead on. But what we're going to do is uh, open this up and make sure everything is easy to get to and easy to charge up the bike. First thing I need to do is take the seat off, which is easy enough. BMW uses these Torx security screws. I believe it's a 25. It is. It's a T25 Torx for these screws here. plastic washer there you don't want to lose that be care careful when you're taking the tightening the screws mostly but when you're taking these screws on or off you want to be careful not to crack or scratch your fairings especially if you're working in the cold like I am and that's why you have to be careful of not losing those little washers. Oh, I gotta take these two out on the sides. Also 25, T25. I do not see a washer there. There we go. So that whole thing comes away and it is connected to the battery because there's a power port here so there's a wire behind here so don't pull it too hard but all I need are these two leads here so I'm just gonna slot that back like that this is in my toolkit Torx pocket knife style thing I do have Torx set that I use in my home kit, but this is something I keep with my toolkit that rides with me in case I need to get into any of these things or make any repairs, so that's a good thing to have. These here, these two leads, are just a Phillips head. This is a fused lead here. It's not broken. Make sure it's in securely. Always check that before you go ahead and screw that back down because if it's not working, most likely it would be the fused because it's designed to break before anything else. Red to red, positive to positive. Just kind of position it so it's streamlined and reasonably out of the way. What's nice is that there's a lot of space under here. Even though you have to take this off, the battery is in an easy position to get to once that's off. So if you have the torque screws and you have the patience, it's easy to get to, unlike the Ducati Monster. But you want to make sure that when you put something like this on, it's kind of down and out of the way. It's not going to get caught in any of the steering, any of the mechanisms cause any problems. to hide it. There's no steering issue there. Maybe so I can get it there. 
so I have put it under here so it's out of the way snake it behind there so it doesn't get caught up in here and I can just kind of notch it behind that air scoop back up. Okay, that's 25 on all these. Try and support the back. Make sure it's threaded properly, getting into both of the fairings to keep it together. And again, don't over tighten because you don't want to crack your fairing. Just till snug. Finally, put the seat back on. Easy enough little widget to add to your bike. Make sure your battery doesn't die. Keep it topped up. It's just one more accessory to give you a little peace of mind in the maintenance and the storage of your bike. I have the lead plugged in now to its counterpart, it's the two-prong plastic lead, comes down to the power. This is just a, a bike tech power lead. There's some have big boxes with gauges on it. This will turn green when it's charged. What I like about this is that you can switch between six volt and 12 volt. I have a couple of older bikes that need six volt charging. I like the rubber seal that goes over the lead when it's done. This saves you the expense of having to replace the battery every season. It's also something that's very easy to do. I'd recommend having a battery tender on any bike that you have. It's just an easy way to avoid having to do one of those jump starts, running down the street like a fool, getting your bike started on a cold day. Just plug it in, give it a bit of a charge, keep your battery topped up.